Okay, today I'm back to give you guys another video. Today we're gonna be doing a review of the Geek Candy Pods. Now these are truly wireless earbuds. Now these on Amazon, they do retail, as you can see there, for $29.99. They do come in different colors. Now I picked them up because I was looking for some wireless earbuds and I didn't really want it to spend a lot of money um, but they do have decent battery life which is comparable to the airpods which is about four hours with the charging case you'll get extra uh, 20 hours so a full 24 hours um, if you keep charging them but the big question is are these worth the money let's find out Okay, moving on to the accessories. Now, the only accessory that you get is this uh, type C cable. And it's not one of those really short cables. This one is maybe about 10 inches long, so it's not those really tiny ones. So I think it's uh, decent so for the cable and it is type C, it's not micro USB. So that's a plus. So I'm gonna give them thumbs up. Okay, moving on to the hardware. Now, I gotta say that I do like the hardware. It doesn't feel cheap. It actually has a very nice uh, uh, feel and uh, they feel way more expensive. They kind of feel kind of what the AirPods feel like. They have a nice weight to it as well. Now I have a couple earbuds here. I have the Samsung uh, Galaxy Live earbuds. So you guys can see the case. And then I do have the AirPods Pro as well, so you guys can see the case. Now, I did notice that if you have any uh, AirPods, uh, the original or uh, the second generations, um, if you have cases, they will fit, these will fit to those cases. So uh, that was a very nice thing that I found. So that's pretty cool. Now, when you open them up, you have your earbuds there, and I'm just gonna take one out. They do have very strong magnets, but as you can see, they do resemble the AirPods, the first and second generation. And uh, the case does have magnets as well. And when you put them in, they do uh, go in very smoothly. So, uh, the earbuds themselves are pretty light. Um, probably the AirPods have a little bit more weight, but uh, they're decent. But the case is what feels uh, more expensive on these earbuds. There is an LED light on the front as well. So that's pretty cool. So for the hardware, I think it's really good. And I'm gonna give them thumbs up. Okay, moving on to sound quality. Now, some of the albums I used to test these earbuds out, I did play some Mac Miller, I played some Aventura, some Two Chains, and I also remember playing some Limp Biscuit. Now, that being said, we're gonna first talk about the bass. Now, the bass to me was pretty nice. It was an impressive bass, but it's still gonna sound pretty nice especially at the price point it doesn't distort at high volumes and it sounds pretty good for mostly all the tracks that i was listening to um they do have a more warmer sound keep that in mind so the it is bassy and it, it tries to give you bass um but it's not explosive bass and it's not bass that's gonna hit you hard but they still uh, have a warm sound for the bass, I think it's all right. Um, it's definitely above average, but again, it's not gonna blow your mind. If you like bass, I still think you're gonna enjoy it. Moving on. Okay, moving on to mids and highs. 
Now, mids and highs, let's first talk about mids. Uh, mids were okay, nothing special. Um, above average mids, I wish in my opinion that they were a little bit more clear, uh, but they were okay. And again, for the $30 mark, they're okay. Um, definitely worth the money in the mids department, but you know, they're not gonna, you know, wow you or anything. They're not gonna win any prizes for the mids department. Now the highs were a little bit better. They were a little bit more clear, um, which impressed me a little bit. And I thought I was a little bit satisfied with the highs. I wish the mids, in my opinion, were just a little bit more clear and these would be awesome. That being said, they're all right. Okay, moving on to a track recommendation. This is where I usually recommend a track from an album that I was listening to. And in this case, I was listening to Aventura Generation Next and the song is called Cuando Volverás. You can uh, listen to it in English or in Spanish, but that's the track that I'm recommending today. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? So in the beginning of the video, I asked you guys, are these worth the money? Now, in my opinion, they are. Now, let me explain why. For $30, we're getting a lot of earbuds here. Now, these, uh, they sound pretty nice in the sound quality. I always say sound quality is always first here on my channel. Now, let's talk a little bit of other stuff uh, that I thought was good. Bluetooth range, I got around 50 feet, which is definitely above the average. The average is around 30 feet. Now my AirPods Pro got around 60 feet, but these got around 50 feet and they're only $30. So I thought that was great. The case also feels really good. And again, you can use uh, uh, AirPods uh, cases with these earbuds, which also is very nice. They do come in different colors. I think three different colors, which I showed. Um, call quality was also nice. Uh, it had, they have pretty nice mics. So if you talk on the phone, pretty much everybody that I was talking to, they actually thought I was talking straight to the phone until I told them that I was using air, uh, these air air or candy pods. Um, so that being said, I think they do have nice mics. I also played video games. The, the low latency was pretty nice. I watched some YouTube videos, everything passed with flying colors. So these uh, candy pots, they they check a lot of boxes in my opinion and definitely worth the money. Uh, good quality earbuds for a very low price. So I am gonna recommend them. That was my review. Check out all my videos. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.